Epigenetics is probably one of the most revolutionarily exciting new discoveries uh, in science in the 21st century. What it really means is most genes actually have like a little dimmer switch on them. You can turn them up, you can turn them down. So this means that people are actually much more powerful than they thought they were. Everybody knows about genetics, that's your DNA, it's your genes. And we used to think of it almost as being, that was your destiny. And now we know that that's not true. There's actually another layer of information called epigenetics. And it's the way in which the genes and the environment talk to each other. One way is to think that the genetic code, the DNA, is like a script for a play. And if anyone's ever been in a play and been in rehearsals, you know that your copy of the script ends up with lots of post-it notes where you're putting in additional information like exit stage left. That's kind of what the epigenetic system is. It's like all those extra notes that tell you how to use the script. To empower yourself through epigenetics, one of the things you could do is think about it this way, mind, mouth, and muscle. We now have research that shows that when you do meditation on a routine basis, you decrease the amount of inflammation in the entire human body. Inflammation is the basis of all disease. Can you imagine the connection between your very thoughts and your genes? Let's go to the muscle part. We took people in one experiment who had a very big expression of the obesity gene. We had them walk an accrued amount of approximately an hour a day. By the end of six months, that just that one intervention decreased the expression of that gene by 40%. What do I ask you to do? Get up and walk. Because the more you do that, the more you convince your genes, hello epigenetics, to change, to send a new message instead of saying obesity, obesity. Now it says reduce body fat, become healthier. Let's go to mouth. In our experiments, we found that just eating whole wonderful foods, cooking, you know, for yourself, radical thought, and not just throwing some processed food in the microwave all day long. That's what you needed. But guess what else is important? Human connection, even if it's just with strangers, making someone smile, that you actually influence the inflammatory genes, the ones you want to keep under control. Everybody always hopes that something like epigenetics will give us some miracle cure, and I'm afraid it's not going to be like that. You can't really separate epigenetics and lifestyle, they work together. There are certain cancers where we know that the epigenetic system has gone wrong, and we can modify the epigenetic system by using drugs specifically to do that. A mutation is a change in the DNA sequence. When there's an epigenetic change, nothing happens to the DNA itself. Mutations are quite rare events. Epigenetic changes are incredibly common. Many times I'm asked, wow, is it too late for me? You know, I'm 50 years old and I'm a mess. My answer is it's never, ever, ever too late. I've watched minor miracles take place when people have just simply discarded the old habits that were highly self-destructive and turned it around. probably only be able to show it at a population level rather than for an individual. The best data for this happening in humans is from a period called the Dutch Hunger Winter in the Second World War. 20,000 people just died of starvation and many other people were able to survive but they were eating 500 calories a day. What happened?
happened to all of the generations who were related to these people? As it turns out, they were at much higher risk of depression. And there was also、um, issues of nutrition. In the future, I think we will start to understand the real links between the epigenetic system and what's happening in our brains, particularly of our mental and emotional health. Why people become traumatized, why people develop things like post-traumatic stress disorder. I think of epigenetics, and I think of empowerment. The power to choose how to live long and live well. Yes.